Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I don't know if you are aware, um, the president of Ukraine, Zelensky, came out uh, a few weeks ago with a 10-point uh, peace plan. He came with a proposal and he said that these are 10 points uh, in order to have peace in Ukraine. I made a video on that, I read the points and uh, they are mostly general truisms like for instance do not steal you know don't kill things like this you know do the right thing change things like this because uh, details in this case are blowing everything up uh, we say yeah we want peace okay that's a general statement how do you get to peace Psst. that's the details and the details here are the, what's important do you think that the Russians don't want peace? They want peace, but they want it on their term. So the same with Ukrainians, they want peace, but they want it in their terms. So what do we have here? We have Lavrov who answers those kind of uh, 10 points and uh, stating what Russia, the three conditions for peace, it will not accept from Zelensky. So this article comes from Newsweek and it's from um, today, the 29th of December, 2022. This is the headline. <coughs> Excuse me. Russia outlines three conditions for peace it will not accept from Zelensky. I, I think you can guess uh, what those three are. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on Thursday rejected Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's quote-unquote peace formula as a basis for talks outlining three conditions that Moscow will not accept. But at least they uh, say what they like and what they don't like. And I'm quoting, it is obvious that Kiev is not ready for dialogue. End quote. I hate when this, I dislike when, this, when people say that. Oh, you don't want to talk to me. Well, let me say that. I will tell you, I want to talk to you. No, you don't want to talk to me. Yes, I want to talk to you. No, you don't want to talk to me. I'm like this, I know we're not going to get anywhere. So it's obvious that Kiev is not ready for dialogue. Lavrov was quoted as saying by Russian, Russia's state-run news agency RIA Novosti. And I'm quoting, putting forward all sorts of ideas and formulas of peace, Zelensky cherishes the illusion of achieving, with the help of the West, the withdrawal of our troops from the Russian territory of Donbas, Crimea, Zaporozhia and Kherson region, the payment of reparations by Russia and the surrender of all international tribunals and the like. So these are the things that uh, he's like, what is this guy going to talk about? The withdrawal, of the, the withdrawal of the troops, not a negotiating thing. The payment of reparations by Russia, nope. And surrender of international tribunals and the like. That means go in front of a weasel uh, tribunal to um, take care of you. Of course, and I'm quoting, of course, we will not talk to anyone on such conditions, Lavrov added. Zelensky put forward his 10-step peace formula during a virtual address to world leaders at a group of 20 summit in Bali, Indonesia in November. So uh, let's see what uh, those 10 points are. And you tell me if the details are what's important, re I mean, regardless. The 10 steps he outlined are radiation and nuclear safety okay we have it oh no uh, this is like uh, you gotta get the fuck out from Zaporozhia nuclear power plant this is the translation of that one this is what he says i think food security i don't know what that is if you don't work you should not uh, have any food security you have to work then you you know nobody owes you anything so i don't know what the fuck this is food security but this remember this was written together with a weasel. If you remember, I can remember his name, Rasmussen, I think, something like that. He was a former something, NATO, blah, blah, blah. So he, with the help of the West, food security. I've never heard this until I came to the United States here in America. The communists were talking about that kind of thing, but they didn't feed us. So <laughs> not feeding us like we were just staying in a nest and with our beaks up and open. No, 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 no. Everybody was working. There was non unemployment. The unemployment in the communist country of Romania or socialist country of Romania was zero. 
zero, everybody was working. Efficiently or not, that's a different story. But everybody had to go to work and do something over there, sleep or do whatever. All right, energy security, An another thing. What do you mean energy security? Am I secure? Unless I work, I should not be secure. What do you mean energy security? Release of all prisoners and deported persons. I'm for it. I mean, I understand that it's clear. Implementation of the UN Charter and restoration of Ukraine's territorial integrity and the world order. Well, I don't know about the restoration of Ukrainian territorial integrity. That could have been avoided in 2014 and 2015 with uh, Minsk agreements. Now that the Russians had to come in and do what they do, it's too late unless you kill all of them or you take care of the leaders over there. And the other one is and the world order. No, that's not the world order. That is an imposed, uh, I rule, you do what I tell you. I can uh, break the law order uh, whenever I want and you can do squat about it. Well, I disagree with that one. As the Russian said, if, Lavrov said in, a, in an article that I read today, he said, if and when Russia will again deal with the West, the whole world order will change is going to be under different kind of world order and good for them. They don't uh, want to be treated like weasels and vassal states. All right, next one. Withdrawal of Russian troops and secession of, I mean, stopping the hostil hostilities. No, the Russian troops were nev never reached after they lost so much and they fought so much. Nice try. You know what I mean? That's not going to happen. That should have happened before uh, February 24th. You should have come with this one. Before you said, yeah, come over, let's, uh, you know, have it. Now, the uh, secession of hostilities, that depends on you as well, on your American uh, sponsor as well. Restoration of justice, again, that's a very vague, um, so what, it was trampled by uh, the Russians? Oh, not by you. Okay, all right, were you supposed to implement the Minsk 1 and Minsk 2 agreement? Were you? Were you? Oh, is that international law? Yeah. Okay, and moreover, how about the Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2 pipelines that were blown up by, <coughs> how about that, uh, justice and love and all that, and many, many more. Let's move on and see what's next. Restoration of justice. Countering ecocide. Now, that's another thing that comes from the Americans, not from the Ukrainians. Uh, Ukrainians are like, oh my God, uh, the system, global warming, Pfft. They're just pushed by the guys who have big interest in the carbon emission. You'll see. All right, echoes, echo, echo side. Preventing escalation, an, a term that is just say, I don't want to fight anymore and there's not going to be any more escalation. How about that? Again, a detail that changes everything. This is like a change. We are for change. Wait a minute. What do you mean? The change could be I become a slave. Is that a change you're talking about? So the details are very important. Or you become a slave and I'm the, the master. Which one is it? Yeah, like Obama. Remember that stupid slogan that worked. Why? Because the people who vote in a mass democracy are of that kind. Some of them. You know, change. Hope and change. I hope that what? And change what? <laughs> it's so evasive. Yeah. And when I hear this, hey, do the right thing. Do, do what's right. According to whom? To the Bible, to the Quran, to uh, Bhagavad Gita, to uh, Upanishads, to what am I supposed to? You know what I mean? Or to me, what's right, what I think is right? You won't like that one. Or what you think is right. You see, all these things are just, as I said already 3,000 times. Confirmation of the end of the war. See, he put this as being a war. I don't think Russia gives a fuck anymore. And the confirmation would be if you guys go and implement the four points that Russia has for the end of the war. How about that? Again, these are so evasive, uh, uh, hope and change and bullshit. But you wonder why uh, Lavrov said this, the three that are kind of concrete and we can't even go further with uh, this so-called uh, 10 point uh, peace uh, formula. It will restore the validity of international law. No. First, someone overthrew a government. International law was trampled. Remember that one? Someone signed two 
Minsk agreements. Remember that, that became, by signing that, that became international law. So you're talking international law? You're talking about it. All right. It will re revitalize the security architecture. No, it won't. It, it will if you have multipolar world, not one leader that's going to do whatever he f the fuck wants, because that's been proven in the last 30 years, what that leader did when it has the only bicep in the neighborhood. See how many people died, see how many countries were invaded for the uh, spreading of freedom and democracy. And they hate our way of life. Remember that fucking shit from September 11? Why do they hate us? Why did they attack us? And you have people because uh, the anchors on the TV, uh, they hate our way of our freedom. And everybody was, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it was. And I was like, what? Maybe you did some hanky-panky in areas where you had nothing to do and you caused over there some injustices and they hate you. And I, as we know, the abuser tends to forget who the fuck they abused. And then when the abused, which never forgets, the abuser tries to punch you back. You're like, what's wrong with you, bud? And the victim tells you the abuser say, you remember that one? Ah, come on now, man. You keep that now. Come on, man, for the name of civilization and progress, shut the fuck up and let's be friends again. No, let me do to you what you did to me and then we can go on. All right, that's how uh, uh, they hate our freedom. They hate our values. What values? Those values used to be. Now, I don't know, it's turned into something else. All right, so it says here that uh, it will restore that. Yeah, okay, good job. But Russia has asserted that Ukraine must accept the September annexation of four of its regions, Luhansk, Donetsk, Kherson, and Zaporozhye, following sham referendums called by Russian President Vladimir Putin. Why are they sham? Why are those shammer than, uh, let's say, Kosovo independence vote? Why is it? Because it's a world order. When we do it, it's valid. When you do it as a vassal state, supposed to be a vassal state, you have no legitimacy. Only we have. Who gave you that? Nobody. International law? Please. So, all right. There can be no peace plan, and I'm quoting, that does not take into account today's realities regarding Russian territory. With the entry of four regions into Russia, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said on Wednesday, and I'm quoting, no plan that does not take into account these realities can claim to be peaceful, he added. Blah, 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 this one. In an, inter in an interview with uh, Associated Press on Mo Monday, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said Kiev hopes to hold a peace summit in February with the goal of entering the ending the ongoing conflict. And Russia is not invited until they decide to uh, give them, turn themselves in to the whatever tribunal to be hanged like the Germans. All right, yeah, okay. Putin claims Sunday that Ukraine is refusing to hold peace talks. He told the Russian state TV outlet that he is prepared to negotiate some acceptable outcomes with all the participants of this process. You know who all the participants are? He drags in the Americans, the Brits, the Germans, the French, the people who are participants, but those guys will not want to do that. Therefore, it's not going to be any peace process. Because they say, we? We're not, you know, we didn't do anything here. It's between you and Ukraine, you, you, you guys. No, 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 it's not. You see, it's so many things uh, that there are non-starters from the very beginning. You know what's going to dictate? I tell you, see, this finger is going to, this finger is going to point to what's going to dictate the peace. This. Who has it bigger and who punches faster and is better and kills the other, the other country that's the that's how everything is going to be determined when russia mops the floor with those guys then it's going to be a kind of a, a process you have to assert yourself because nobody say yeah mr cosman please come over here uh, take a seat in this important seat and tell us about your um, fantastic uh, experience nobody's going to do that you have to make it you have to do it so the same with ukrainians the ukrainians until they get rid of not ukrainians the ukrainian side let's put it this way the guys if they cut Putin and there are about 30 other leaders over there and they turn uh, Russia into Yeltsin's Russia, then they won. Until then, Russia will not lose. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.